here we now study the einstein's photoelectric equation the scientist einstein observed that when a photon of energy h nu means when an electromagnetic radiation of frequency nu is incident on metal surface then electrons are emitted now he given a relation between the frequency of incident radiation and also the maximum kinetic energy of the photo electrons are emitted now according to him he says that when a photon of energy h nu is incident now the total energy of the photon is utilized in two ways some part of the energy of the photon is utilized to detach electron from the metal surface now this energy is called here work function means uh, some part of the energy of photon is just utilized as a work function means phi naught what about the remaining energy of the photon the remaining energy of the photon is imparted is given to the electron as it's a maximum kinetic energy so where we write that the maximum kinetic energy obtained for an electron k max is equal to the h nu minus uh, phi naught here h nu is the total energy of the photon from this total energy some part of the energy called work function means work function means it is the amount minimum amount of energy required for the electron to just detach from the metal surface now the remaining energy of the photon h nu minus phi naught h nu minus phi naught is the remaining energy of the photon this remaining energy of the photon is given to the electron as a maximum kinetic energy so maximum kinetic energy of the electrons is a k max is equals to h nu minus a phi naught here we can also write like this h nu is equals to phi naught plus k max here if nu naught is a threshold frequency if nu naught is threshold frequency then the work function phi naught can be written as phi naught is equals to h nu naught so here we write h nu is equal to h nu naught plus k max or h nu is equal to h nu naught plus k max means a uh, maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron can also be written as half m v max square we can also write half m v max square is equal to h into nu minus nu naught here we are writing this nu and nu naught in terms of the wavelengths here the light means electromagnetic radiation propagates with the speed of light now c is equal can be written as a nu into lambda that implies a nu is equal to c by lambda and c is equal to nu naught into lambda naught that implies nu naught is equal to c by lambda naught here what is lambda naught lambda is the lambda naught is the threshold wavelength here if a frequency is a minimum then a wavelength is maximum means a threshold frequency is the minimum frequency required for emission of electrons for the incident radiation and lambda naught is the maximum wavelength required for the incident radiation for the emission of electrons so here we define the lambda naught threshold wavelength as the the maximum wavelength of the incident radiation of uh, incident radiation to emit the electrons from the metal surface if the wavelength if the wavelength of a incident radiation is greater than threshold wavelength then photoelectric emission is not possible here the photoelectric emission is not possible if the frequency of radiation is below the threshold frequency now to take place the photoelectric emission the frequency of incident radiation must and should uh, either greater than or equal to threshold frequency and uh, the wavelength of incident radiation must and should less than or equal to threshold wavelength these are the conditions now lambda naught is the threshold wavelength it is defined as the the maximum wavelength of incident radiation above which the photoelectric emission is not possible if lambda is greater than lambda naught the photoelectric emission is not possible now here we write nu and nu naught in terms of wavelengths so here also we write of m v max square is equal to h into c by lambda minus c by lambda naught now half m 
v max square is equal to here we take the hc common hc into 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught here these are the various forms of the einstein's photoelectric equation here also we write the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons is equal to the av naught maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons is equal to the av naught means uh, at a stopping potential v naught given to the collector plate the work done by the potential stopping potential v naught is uh, able to stop the electrons uh, means k max is equal to the av naught if v naught is stopping potential here we know k max is equal to av naught if you substitute k max is equal to av naught in this equation here we can also write uh, h nu is equal to h nu naught plus av naught now av naught is equal to we write h nu minus uh, h nu naught now v naught is equal to h nu by e minus h nu naught by e these are the some various forms of the einstein's photoelectric equation but the fundamental form is uh, k max is equal to h nu minus phi naught it can also be written as h is equal to phi naught plus k max uh, phi naught means a uh, <coughs> work work function it can also be written as h nu naught here also we write like this also like this in terms of wavelengths we write like this in terms of uh, stopping potential here we write like this these are the various forms of the einstein's uh, photoelectric equation